HTAM is an on-device executable variant of SAM2. SAM2 is segment anything model from Meta, which is widely used a very popular video segmentation and image segmentation model. And in this video, I'm going to show you how good the HTAM is and you can run it on your device as well. So I'm going to show it to you on Google Collab. The good thing about HTAM is it's a drop and replacement of SAM2. So it is 22 times faster than SAM2 and it achieves 16 frames per second on iPhone 15 Pro Max without any quantization. That means this has a lot of use cases like for example, counting objects in a production line or anything to do with manufacturing or even for sports analytics and that sort of thing. So for you to use HTAM, there is a hugging face variant and it's very straightforward to use. You can just do from transformers import pipeline and then just call the pipeline called mask generation and you call the mo model in this particular case, which is HTAM HF. This has been created by this hugging face employee, I guess. And then you have to give whatever image that you want. And once you have the image, then all you have to do is send it through generator and then you get the number of masks generated. It is going to give you the output mask. But what I'm going to show you is actually a web UI demo. And you can see here, we can upload a video and this is running on my Google Collab. So you can see this is running on Google Collab T4 machine. So you can also run this. There are slight modification required, which I'll say it in this particular video. But ideally you can run it on Google Collab the inference speed is really, really good. So you can see the demo here. All you have to do is upload a video. After you upload a video, you have to point, you have to point like mark a point. And then after you mark a point, then you can say that propagate the point across the video. So it's going to copy that mask, like whatever object that it is tracking, it is going to do for every single frame. And then after it is doing, then you can see that it is going to render and uh, you can see. So I'm going to close it. I'm going to come back and then show you the demo from um, the first one. So we have a couple of examples here. I can pick one of the examples here. So let's go pick one of the cutest examples in this case, penguin. A penguin video is being loaded. Yeah, penguin is loaded. You can also reset the session. So you can click the penguin, whatever penguin that you want to track. Okay, I've clicked penguin. So for this frame, it has, it has tagged this penguin. The point has been tagged. Now you click propagate across video. That means it's going to propagate it across all the videos. You have a couple of options. You can either select a point or you can select a box. I've selected a point. Now it has been getting propagated. As you can see here, it has been propagated across the frames and it has been propagated for all the frames. Now you click render MP4. And once you click render MP4 for smooth playback, it is going to do it across all the frames. And everything that you are seeing here is not being edited. It is at the real time speed currently running on T4 machine. I'm not even sure if it is running on CPU or T4 exactly, but it is running. Click the video. You can see the penguin is walking and um, it's just like diving. Another video that I actually liked is this cups demo. I think it's from Sam too, if I remember it correctly. So we are uploading this video. Once again, you can see, and there are a lot of modifications you can do. The current radio application is just this, but you can have multiple points, multiple tracking and all those things. I'm going to click this object. And you can see that this object has been selected. I'm going to click propagate across the video. And uh, also you can do this. You can say include, exclude. So you have got different options to do it. And um, let's, let's see um, how good it is doing or how good it is getting confused. It's been done. I'm going to render it across the video. So let's play this. The object is there. It is still okay. So it uh, it managed to keep it. The, the cup did not move at also, which is a good thing. So it's very easy for you to build this for you to do this. Uh, if you want to follow what I did, all you have to do is uh, go to this Google Collab, install this dependency then clone this hugging face spaces built by this particular person from hugging face enter into the folder after you enter into the folder you just have to make one change in the code in the app.py file you have to at the end you have to just add share is equal to true if this is difficult again let me know in the comment section i can make a separate demo for you and then install the requirements.file and um, that's it all you have to do is run the python app.py file and then you have got the demo running in your hugging face sorry, in your Google Collab GPU. If you have difficulty, let me know, I'll make it. But if you are, let's say, trying to run it as a standalone code, again, it's very simple. Um, for images, it's like super straightforward. So all you have to do is from Transformers, import SAM2 processor, HTAM model, and then you've got Torch imported, you've, you've got Pillow and Image imported and Request. 
request is just to download the the input file if you have got an input file already in your local machine you don't have to do it select gpu as cuda cuda as gpu uh, machine if cuda is available if cuda is not available select the cpu then you load the model in this case which is the tam model then you load the sam2 processor so you have got the model you have got the processor processor here is like the tokenizer equivalent in your llm world select the image download the image and uh, you give the points which you want to track and then you have the label for one for positive click zero for negative click so one is like include zero is like exclude and then you send it uh, through the processor and then you finally send it through the model and then create the mask and then show the final output where it is being masked it's super simple to use and uh, given that it has been already part of the hugging face pipeline which is like this one it's ridiculously easy like just four lines of code you have caught a good image a segmentation image masking and also video tracking video segmentation model and the best part here is like i said it's an on device model so it's uh, extremely compute efficient 20 times faster and it's a good drop in replacement of a very good video segmentation and image segmentation model from meta let me know what do you think about this model if you have got any difficulty let me know i'll try to help you by running this but otherwise see you in another video happy prompting